Look out! Mr. Jack, is that you?
about that madman so we can get out of here. You want a piece of me? You think that you're a tough guy? Tell me what you can do. I promise. I don't know when, and I don't know how, and I don't even know where. But you are dead. Dead! You hear me? Oh, God! I'm impressed. You've done remarkably well. I wish we could offer you more permanent employment, but we're in the middle of a hiring freeze. I regret having to do this. But we can't be too careful these days. Sorry you had to witness that, Doctor. No need to apologize. It's just business. You have a remarkably evolved perspective. It's amazing what being stuck on the moon for countless months does to a man's priorities. Perhaps we should consider lunar isolation as part of our training program. I'm not sure it would be cost-effective. A preferable solution might be to submerge new employees in shark cages off the coast of Fiji for extended periods of time. You'd get much the same benefits for the victims, but the accommodations for their supervisors would be considerably more comfortable. Ingenious. This is a new lair, isn't it? It just became operational this past spring. I like the lava. Very atmospheric. It's completely artificial. You don't say. Come. Let me give you a tour of the facilities. I think you'll love our new punitive apparatus. It's called the interrogator. Sounds intriguing. During my isolation, I actually sketched a couple of ideas of my own. My favorite is a cunning little contraption I have dubbed the Man Handler. <laughs> I'd love to see the specs. As soon as I transcribe my notes, I'll prepare a proposal. I look forward to it with monstrous anticipation. Whose skis are these? Mine, actually. I'm going on vacation in the Swiss Alps next week. I've never been skiing. You should try it sometime. Isn't it dangerous? Not at all. I wouldn't want to work for you sons of bitches anyway. I've never been skiing. Isn't it dangerous? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> 